everyone and welcome to One Night in Karazhan, a Hearthstone adventure. Uh, the time is here. The latest adventure has unlocked. It's purchased already by myself. Um, it's actually only $13.99. It, that's in uh, pounds, which I thought was weird because I think it's $20. I don't think that works out right, but... That seems that I've paid less, but that's good. Anyway, we also got this funky card back here, which you can see it's got like a disco ball in the middle. Um, you have to buy the adventure this week. Um, so probably by what, Friday the 19th, I'd say, um, before then to get it. Um, but uh, I've loved the other adventures they've had so far. Explorers, Black Rock, and also Naxxramas. Um, which you can't get anymore, weirdly. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's gone free or something. Um, but yeah, this adventure is based in the Major Medivh's um, tower, which is called Karazhan. And it's kind of like he's having a big party. And it's this kind of magical, mystical tower uh, where all kinds of crazy things are going to go, which sounds really exciting, actually. So, um, let's come out of there. I've turned up the game sounds a bit for this opening section because usually there's a bit of like dialogue going on and I wanted to make sure you guys could hear it. Once we get into the game, I'll turn the game sounds down a little bit as well. But I hope you guys are doing very well. I am doing great. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Um, I'm playing in a minute. It's 20 past 12 a.m. Um, I don't know how long it's been unlocked for, but um, yeah really looking forward to this. Um, so I've got myself a cup of tea here. Uh, yes, all those stereotypes about British people and tea is currently correct. Um, but let's jump in and uh, see what this is about. Okay, here we go. So we've I actually haven't done three class challenges there. That's weird. I thought I'd done the whole, but um, these are the other ones. Next Ramus was the first one. Then it was Black Rock Mountain, then the League of Explorers. Dearest and guest, tonight you are invited to the greatest party on Azeroth. Okay. Join me in Kerazan for music, magic, and just a bit of mayhem. Great stuff. Join Medivh and Azeroth's elite for an unforgettable evening at the Tower of Karazhan. Save the party from total disaster and earn 45 cards unique to this adventure. Okay, Karazhan, I choose you. Ooh, this is my, like, invitation. We've animated the silverware, rehearsed the opera, and prepared the menagerie. Tonight will be a night to remember. Okay, great. So, the way these adventures work is each week a new one opens. So, we have the parlor. Uh, which is the prologue here. Um, then next week we'll have the opera, the menagerie after that, and then the spire in week four. Each one will have, I think, usually three or four um, games to play in it, like matchups with a kind of unique twist uh, on it as well. So let's see uh, what we get in here. And I quite like the way they do this so that you've got something to look forward to each week and don't just get and sorry as you also beat each um, game in there you unlock cards as you do each one so um, I think yeah it's, this will tell us what we actually unlock so in this in the parlor we will unlock the deadly fork the ivory knight the cloaked huntress and morose plus seven more cards so you get quite a lot don't you in total I think um, which is quite good so, um, let's get ready to jump in. Let's go. Rose, why is there a demon in the ballroom? Okay, so, this party's going to be great, but what's Malchazar doing here? His hero power is summon a 6-6 abyssal. That seems super powerful, doesn't it? Um, that's kind of Jaraxxus, isn't it, basically? Let's play the 
and see what happens. So usually there's some sort of twist to it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And usually, yeah, we need to build a custom deck to defeat the really difficult ones. So they have like a normal mode where you unlock all the cards and play through. And then they have a heroic mode at the end, which is uh, versus Malkazar. Ah, so we have a, um, you again. we're playing as medieval here. Let me just turn down the, uh, master volume just a touch here so that it's not, uh, too loud for you guys. Hope that's okay. So, what have we got? Evocation, gain five mana crystals this turn only. Um, astral portal, summon a random legendary minion. That seems pretty good. Archmage apprentice, whenever you cast a spell, shuffle a copy of it into your deck. I guess we played that and then that. Yeah, I'll take that. There's no big hand. So we have Prince of Malkazar. But we each have 30 life and 30 armor. Okay. Do not invite me. I am a prince of the Eridor. After last time, we're still fixing the hole in the roof. Okay. Wow. So his hero powers draw three cards. That's pretty good. And look at this game board. Oh my god. So many things to play with. Uh, oh wow. This is incredible. I can't wait to... One of my favourite things is always seeing uh, the little things that go on on the game board. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, anyway, we should probably play the game. So I was going to go like this. Like this. That's pretty good. And oh, we'll play that again then. Like this, because we'll then get just another copy of it. I can't help but feel that we might win. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just turn that sound down just a touch more. There we go. I don't want it to be off. Uh, so we go. I wish it had like an actual number scale rather than me with my mouse trying to do it, but uh, hopefully that's okay. So, what are you doing here? Silly fool. That's very rude. You are too kind. Silly fool. <laughs> okay, I'm threatening. You never had a chance. Silly fool. You'll try, hero. Silly fool. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. Silly fool. Because I hate just a simple fool a lot. Okay. Let's hit him in the face for eight with Ragnaros. All nations, all realities are open to Okay, so that's pretty cool. Except there's some things. <laughs> well, yes. Okay, that's not a problem. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, well, let's do that, I think. So Finley, this is awkward. Didn't really want you there, did we? Um, I can't attack with him. So we might as well just do that. Yeah, hopefully he hits there. Yeah, good. Okay. Morose, check on the chess set. The real guests will be arriving soon. Okay, so he summoned another abyssal. He killed my Ragnaros. Which is a bit mean. Okay, and I guess that's good because if um, I think we. So if I could pretend. No, I can't play that. That's too many mana. So we will just summon another legendary. Why the hell not, eh? Who do we get? Another flame leviathan. Okay. It's interesting. Um, I think we just. Next turn, play five random mage secrets into play. Wow, okay. I think I'd like to clear the board, but I can't do that, so we'll take him out. I get him, but game boss, we can't kill him either. So I'll go face. Sir, the Medivas are set up. Bond is rehearsing with them now. The Medivas. 
very clever. Oh, I guess it's going to give it to my flame of fire. Some of the other 6-6. Six, six. I like the animation on that. That is very cool. Draw two cards, gain four armor. That doesn't worry me. He has a fantastic card. Oh, we didn't change our card back, did we? I'll have to do that. I'm very excited. You may be able to tell. Um, so I could effectively clear his board, which is probably the best thing to do. So Finley, you have been a great servant, sir. We'll do that. Have you looked outside, sir? There are raid bosses scrambling for an invitation. Oh. A death spite, eh? He's gonna hit that. Okay, I think I'm, I'm alright with that, actually. I think we're in a, a good position. Um, I... See what we get. Oh, then we want to do this. So we free up space. Because um, we're going to draw six cards, which will. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. We're just gonna, yeah, okay, we're gonna get four of him. Oh my god, this is mental. Okay, uh, your spells cost zero this turn. Wow. I think I'm in a good position. The Medivh's very powerful. Morose, we forgot the balloons. Sir, balloons terrify no loss. <laughs> Remember last week. Oh boy. I think the interesting thing would be they haven't announced who the last boss is who you fight yet. Um, interesting. Only hit me in the face for four. Ah, oh, oh well, my major armor's gone. Okay, so I actually want to probably. What do I want to do? I want to play that. That, then I want to play that. I want to be just like the king. Okay. I think we fireball. Uh, no, we fireball. Wait, what can we do? That. So this seems a pretty easy one to just warm you up. They do get progressively more tricky. Uh, I mean, I could just get them. I kind of would love to know what these secrets are. Oh, they're Vaporize, Spellbender, Ice Barrier, Duplicate, Mirror Entity. Let's just draw, see if we've got anything super cool. Medivh is just super powered, isn't he? see how much we can get in our deck. I wanna be just like the king. <laughs> That's 
Manchester City. He's the ultimate bad manners. But 36 cards in our deck. There we go. Let's see how many we've got now. There's a second phase, and uh, I've just wasted all my cards. Home, or not. I'm chasing you. Oh no, he's stolen Medivh. <laughs> and we gained the Enchanted Room. This isn't good at all. No, I don't think it is. Medivh has been stolen. Oh, and the Firelands Portal, that's a pretty good mage card, I think. That's going to be me, isn't it? Oh, I like the little uh, animation there. Okay, so. I am so. Rose, Carathon Steward, and I need your help. Medivh's gone. We need the portal to the top of the tower to save him and the party. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> look at him. How uh, terrified he looks here. This, uh, this doesn't look good, does it? So, let's see what we face first. That looks like an Annoyotron. Okay, we're playing the Silverware Golem. Reach the top of the tower before the party takes over. Be our guest. Ah, so this is Beauty and the Beast inspired. Summon a 1-1 one, one plate. Awesome. Ah, and we get to use our own uh, decks. I think I'm going to go for just to try it out we'll go for the like yog hunter obviously i've got no idea what's going to happen here this could be any i have no idea what deck i'm facing at all um i've stayed completely spoiler free okay dancing is fun yes um yeah that's a good opening hand i like that Silverware Golem. He, uh, he's a bit special, isn't he? Did he just say, uh, polishing time? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Hearthstone. He's gonna hit me with a spoon. Ouch. The spoon hurts. Uh, okay, that's not much good. I'm just going to hit him like that. Look at these plates. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. I could do with my explosive trap right now. We hit him with this and that. We haven't got a minion yet, so I'm reluctant to use this unless. Okay, that's not. Well, I mean, it's a 3 1, so. How much do these cost normally? So that'll cost him 3 for a 1 1. That's not a great. Because uh, this is actually like a zoo deck. <laughs> An actual zoo deck. some of them down I guess I really want 
Shaman's probably the go-to for most of these. So I'm not worried about much. I think I'll just draw. And should I? I don't really have a lot to play at the minute. Okay, we got my healing totem. Oh, something happened here. What's that?
as much as I actually don't want to do this, I might just do that. And that. Just to free up a little bit of pressure on me. I don't think he's going to have anything else really big. I could regret that though. I thought I might be able to do it anyway, but we may well have to. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Alright. Um, can we do... I think we play him and take out that knife. face. Yeah, he's going to face. Be able to take out my Reno at the moment. Really? Okay. He's, he's not taking out my Reno. Really hope I get a Brewmaster. That's not great. Uh, I'm going to play this. I don't have any Daunt, so I'm actually screwed, aren't I? still be dead the turn after. I think I've got to do this and hope. Hope, hope, hope. That we get. Oh dear. Something like this will be good actually, yeah. I would go the warlock route. Um, and this is only on the normal. <laughs> We're not even playing it on the uh, uh, We're not even playing it on the heroic difficulty either. But uh, you know, never mind. Let's see what we've got. 
Mexico. Okay, we definitely don't want your axes yet. Flaming would be good. I mean, I don't want to take the three damage, but I'll live with it. him off with Cthune as well. Sorry. a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I mean, it is, if I had made a deck, I think this would be very easy, but... Um, okay, that's not the end of the world. Right. I think we played Councilman. I'm actually just going to get rid of that one there. Play that. It's a pretty good card against these guys. I really would like Marino now, though. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to play Ysera. Sarah awakens. I didn't, but never mind. Sarah is a pretty good play clearer. Okay. Uh, some of five one ones. Oh crikey! We could 
as you mill him, to be fair. It's like a potential thing that could happen. Uh, I could be content with just beating him now, though. <laughs> Devastating, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually better. Probably didn't actually realise my Cthulhu was that large, to be completely honest. Okay, well, I mean, I've, I've maybe got him. so memorable with the characters and things like that you get from them. Okay, so we've killed him. Thank God. <laughs> we needed Cthulhu, but uh, we did it. There we go. The dishes are actually it's a rogue card isn't it and um, I think that's pretty good um, if you discard this minute sim summon it yeah and again that's an interesting one for a kind of discard deck so I'm going to cut this episode here I think it actually went on a bit longer than I uh, would have liked but hey it's all about the fun in these adventures um, and then next episode we'll play the next two um finish this one so thank you so much for watching as always been a pleasure and i shall see you next time